Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition and this is the channel where we explain it so you don't have to. With Far From Home making its way around the world in more ways than one, it's time to break down one of the movie's biggest talking points, which comes in the form of Mysterio, the enigmatic hero that is lining up to replace Iron Man as Earth's greatest protector. Throughout this video, I'll be breaking down everything that you need to know about Mysterio, as well as how the movie took inspiration from the comics. There will be heavy spoilers, so if you haven't seen Far From Home yet and don't want to know anything about the character, then I highly recommend that you turn off now. With that out the way, I just want to give a huge thank you for clicking this video. I hope you enjoy it. Now sit back, relax, and let's get into my breakdown of Mysterio. In Far From Home, Mysterio, aka Quentin Beck, is apparently from Earth A33, a planet that was supposedly ravaged by the elementals. Tying back to the source material, Earth 833 in the comics doesn't actually have the Spider-Man that we know as Peter Parker was never bitten by a radioactive spider and therefore the character never came to be. Instead on that Earth it was in fact William Braddock who was bitten and he took on the pseudonym Spider UK. Spider UK is able to jump from dimension to dimension, however when he went to return to his Earth he found it destroyed in a cosmic event known as the Incursion. So it looks like everything lines up. Now we know why Mysterio doesn't know who Spider-Man is, why his world was destroyed, and I guess we should just hand over the Edith glasses and be happy that they're in safe hands, right? Well, in Far From Home, even though his backstory is pretty accurate to the comics, we actually discover that Mysterio is in fact the personification of a group of people who all have serious vendettas against Tony Stark, with Quentin Beck heading them up. Beck was the original creator of Bath, which appeared in Captain America's Civil War, and whilst the technology was revolutionary, Stark only used it for a therapeutic experiment and then mothballed it, much to Beck's dismay. In addition to this, many of the people that now work with Beck have been scorned in the past by Stark's achievements, including a scientist from the original Iron Man that was berated by Obadiah Stane for not being able to recreate the arc reactor. Since Tony Stark sacrificed himself to save the universe, Beck has viewed his death as an opportunity to rise to the forefront and using his incredible holographic technology attached to drones, he is able to convince the world, J. Jonah Jameson and Spider-Man that he is the planet's greatest hope. This is all set up to obtain Edith, the AI tool created by Tony Stark that has a fleet of drones which are capable of protecting the planet should another Thanos level threat arrive. Upon his death, Stark entrusted this power to Peter, however due to the doubt that Beck casts in the wall crawler's head throughout the film, the character decides to pass over the ownership of it to Mysterio. This enables Mysterio to launch a full scale attack on London, which will cement his spot as Earth's mightiest protector, but luckily Spider-Man is here to put an end to that plan, and after Mysterio recklessly uses his drones to fire at the webhead, he is caught in the blast zone. Now one of the biggest questions floating around this ending is, did Mysterio die? Well personally, I don't believe that he did. During the movie in several scenes, he's able to use duplicates to make it appear as if he is. Beck has more than enough technology to make it look like he's dying, and also access to Edith, which is the only thing that verifies his death. At no point did he really have the proper opportunity to film the segment that reveals that Peter Parker is Spider-Man, and after my second watch of the film, I'm convinced that he's still out there somewhere. It's something I've kind of went back and forth on and we won't know for definite for a while, but the entire plot of Far From Home is about deception, which not only comes in the form of Mysterio, but also in Nick Fury and Maria Hill. Anyway, before I bog this video down in fan theories, let's discuss Mysterio's origins from the comics and how they played into the movie. Mysterio originally debuted in The Amazing Spider-Man 13 from 1964 and was created by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. Though this is noted as his first appearance, he was later credited as being responsible for an alien invasion that turned out to be a hoax from issue 2 of the same run. Mysterio has been a member of the Sinister Six at several points throughout his history and if he was to return, I definitely think he would fit in well with the Scorpion and the Vulture who were also scorned by Stark. Mysterio hasn't just went after Spider-Man either, and in the story Daredevil, Guardian Devil, Mysterio believed that he could find a more worthy arch enemy in the hero and tormented him with visions of the Antichrist. This really hit home for the character due to his Catholicism, and though Mysterio committed suicide at the end of the run, he was later brought back to life down the line. In Old Man Logan, Mysterio managed to trick Wolverine into murdering all of the X-Men, and this became a huge plot point for the story that pretty much drove the man formerly known as Weapon X to put away his claws for good. It's clear that whilst he may look pretty goofy, he's 
He's actually one of Spider-Man's greatest foes, and I definitely think that this transfers to the screen amazingly in Gyllenhaal's performance. In the comics, Mysterio is a former special effects artist turned bad, and the new film beautifully weaves this into the prior MCU films through the Civil War callback. All in all, it makes for a great villain, and he's definitely one of the stronger foes in the MCU at this point, having beautifully brought down Spider-Man by the film's close. Obviously, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Mysterio, and if you enjoy the portrayal of him in Far From Home or not. Comment below and I just want to let you know that we're giving away a free copy of Avengers Endgame to one lucky winner and all you have to do is like this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts on the movie in the comments below. The winner will be chosen at random on August the 10th and the Blu-ray will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize. Best of luck to everyone who takes part and if you love this video 3000 then please give it a thumbs up and if you want to know more about Far From Home and where I think the movies could go in the future after the big post credit scene then make sure you check out my ending explained breakdown which will be linked at the end. It covers all of the potential futures of phase 4 and is definitely worth checking out if you want to know more. I'll leave that linked at the end and hopefully I'll see you over there after this. This is a channel for people who are super into superheroes so if that's the kind of thing you like hit subscribe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this. I've been Definition, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.